In this lecture, we are going to learn the nested route in the React application. We are going to see how to create a nested routing in the React application and how to use it. If you want to navigate user to the different pages or view, then you can use route. A nested route is nothing but a simple route within another route. Let me show you a very simple example to understand how nested routing is created in the React application. So I'm going to create a new file inside this router folder and I'm going to name this file nested.js and inside this file I'm going to create my nested routing. So let me first close this route, create here a simple React functional component, copy this nested and specify that here like this. So I'm going to just import this route in my main component. Just out of that, let me save this file back to the nested and in this route, I'm going to use all the code of my previous example. So let me just open my previous example and copy all this code and paste it inside this because we need this code to create a nested route. Let me copy this JSX as well like this and specify that here. Now once I have all my code, let me implement it and create my nested routing. In this example, we have here different routes. Now, in the previous lecture, we understand when the path is matched with the URL, the route will automatically return the component. When you open a root route, you will get the home component. When you open the category route, you will get the category component and so on. Now there is another way you can pass component to this route. Instead of this home, I can pass component property. Let me show you. Here I'm going to simply call a property call component. And then I'm going to specify the component I want to display when the route is matched. So as you know, I'm going to just print home. So I'm going to say here home. Do the same for this category as well. So I can just get rid of these categories. And instead of these categories, I can just simply say here component is equal to. And then I'm going to specify here category. Now you're not limited to only specify component inside your route. You can also render a component as well. You can also pass a render property to render something. Now let's say you don't have any component to render when the route is matched. In that case, you can pass a render method as well. For example, let me get rid of this component and here I can specify render. Now this property allows you to render something when the route is matched. So here I'm going to simply specify equal to sign in the curly braces. I'm going to pass here an arrow function and just return h2 heading tag and simply say products render. Let me save this file and then let me just back to the route.js and at the top as you know I have this import statement. Don't forget to copy it, paste it at the top. Back to your browser. When I click on these links you can notice I'm going to have the result what I want. So when you click on the products you can notice you're going to have product render as a response. As you know we just specify this text inside a render function. When you click on the category, you will get category and when you click on the home, you will get your home page. Now, when I click on the category and product, you can notice I also have home as a response. What I want, when I click on the product and category, I just want to return this category or product. I don't need this home page as a response. I don't want to display any view from the home page. I'm going to just back to my example and to this home route. I'm going to just simply pass a property called exact. So this property will exactly match this path. Let me save this file. And when I click on the product and category, you can notice I don't have home view inside this category and product. So this property will exactly match the path of the route. Now, because I have this root path to both this route as well, that is why I'm going to get home view in both this route as well. So if you want to remove the home page view from the different route, just use the exact keyword. Now let me show you how to create a nested routing. What if I have multiple categories inside this category route? If I just create here a route, another route, and inside it, I'm going to just simply pass exact to exactly match the path. And then I'm going to say here path property is equal to in the double quote, I'm going to simply pass this path, the category path. And just out of that, I'm going to pass here render property is equal to and in the curly braces, I'm going to pass a callback function. So I'm going to simply say here a callback function like this. Make sure you add here parentheses because I'm not using return statement here. So make sure you pass here parentheses instead of curly braces. 
Now inside this, I'm going to create a JSX. So here I'm going to say div and inside this div, I'm going to return my different categories. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable and use map method to iterate over that categories. So at the top here, I'm going to create a variable. I'm going to name this variable constant item is equal to and this is a type of array and inside this array I have object on zero index I have this object with name key and as a value I'm going to specify category one and then I'm going to specify second ID is going to be zero let me copy this paste it down here with this comma this is the category two and ID is going to be one now I'm going to specify ID to uniquely identify this object. Just after that, I'm going to use this item variable to create multiple categories. So I'm going to use this item inside this division tag. So inside this div, I'm going to add here curly braces. And inside this curly braces, I'm going to say item dot map. As you know, to iterate over an array, we can use a map method. Inside this map, I'm going to say item I'm going to call a callback function to iterate over each item inside this array. Then I'm going to specify here parentheses to return a statement. And here I'm going to say div. And to this div, I'm going to pass a key to uniquely identify this division tag. Inside this curly braces, I'm going to say item dot id. Just out of that, inside this div, I'm going to call my link tag. As you know, I have this link imported from this React router DOM. Instead of using anchor tag, I'm going to use link tag here. So I'm going to say here link and then specify two property to it to specify path to this anchor tag or you can say to this link tag. Just for that, here inside this curly braces, I'm going to pass back tick and then specify category this path and I'm going to add a path to this category. So I'm going to specify forward slash dollar sign and in the curly braces, I'm going to say item dot id and then inside this link. I'm going to simply say curly braces item dot name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add a path to this category. So this is what we call a nested routing, a routing inside another routing. So I'm going to specify name of the item to this link. And in the path, I'm going to specify the ID of the category. So when the ID is matched in the URL, I'm going to print something. Let me just leave everything as it is. Save this file back to my browser and as you can see when I click on the products I'm going to have products as a response when I click on the category I'm going to have two more categories here you can notice I have category 1 and category 2 let me click on this category 1 you can see we have different view here I'm going to have 0 as a response when I click on the category 2 I'm going to have 1 as a response so this will just add that category item inside this URL and you will have different views on your browser so this is what we call a nested routing route inside another route now for an exercise you have to create the same example for this product as well you have to create two products inside your react application and display them one by one using map method you have to display the products and your nested products now this is the basic example of routing you can use different techniques to create different routing in react application we will look at that one by one but next, let's take a look at how to create protected routing.